హలో ఎవరివన్ వెల్కమ్ టు ఆన్లైన్ వీడియో లెక్చర్ సిరీస్ డెవలప్డ్ బై జవహర్లాల్ నెహ్రూ టెక్నాలజికల్ యూనివర్సిటీ కాకినాడ ఇన్ అసోసియేషన్ విత్ ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ స్టేట్ కౌన్సిల్ ఆఫ్ హైయర్ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ దిస్ ఈజ్ డాక్టర్ ఎం ప్రేమ్ కుమార్ వర్కింగ్ యాజ్ ప్రొఫెసర్ ఇన్ ద డిపార్ట్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ ఎలక్ట్రానిక్స్ అండ్ కమ్యూనికేషన్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ శ్రీ విష్ణు ఇంజనీరింగ్ కాలేజ్ ఫర్ మెన్ భీమోవర్ వెల్కమ్ టు ఆన్లైన్ వీడియో లెక్చర్ సిరీస్ ఇన్ దిస్ లెక్చర్ వి విల్ డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ క్రాస్ కోర్లేషన్ అండ్ ఇట్స్ ప్రాపర్టీస్ So in this lecture, we will discuss about the properties of cross correlation for energy security. So, R1 to of tau, R1 Two of tau is equal to integral minus infinity to plus infinity. So this is f1 of t and f2 star of t plus tau dt. The same effect can be obtained by shifting x f1 of t minus tau and f2 star of t. Yes. So, first property of autocorrelation, cross-correlation for energy signal, cross-correlation function exhibits conjugate symmetry. Cross-correlation function exhibits and get symmetry so r of r 1 2 of tau will be equal to r 2 1 star of minus tau so taking this equation r 1 2 of tau will be equal to integral minus infinity to plus infinity this is f1 of t f2 star of t plus tau dt so first signal is f1 of t and second signal will be f2 star of t for second signal we will be having a complex conjugate now taking the conjugation of both sides r2 1 star this is taking the complex conjugate on this side so this becomes minus infinity to plus infinity this is f1 of t this is f2 star of t plus tau dt so this is whole star so this is equal to integral minus infinity to plus infinity this is f1 star of t f2 and star and will be calculated and cancelled dt so this is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity f2 of t plus tau and f1 star of t dt so this can be written as second function star this is r21 star of minus tau so this is r12 of tau is equal to r21 star of minus tau auto cross correlation function for any signal exhibits a conjugate symmetry the second property if a cross correlation function value is equal to 0 at tau equal to 0 then the signals are said to be orthogonal so r12 of tau is equal to integral minus infinity to plus infinity this is f1 of t 
This is F2 star of T plus tau dt. Now substituting tau value equal to 0. So here this is minus infinity to plus infinity. This is F1 of T and this is F2 star of T tau value is 0 dt. So whenever two functions are complex functions are said to be orthogonal, they dot product and an integrated over any particular time period will be equal to zero. If this is equal to zero, then the functions, if this is equal to zero, the functions f1 of t and f2 of t are said to be orthogonal. functions. So, coming to the third property, autocorrelation, cross-correlation function, take the Fourier transform, digits x1 of j omega and x2 star of j omega. Suppose x1 of t is by signal the corresponding Fourier transform is x1 of j omega and x2 of t is my signal and the corresponding Fourier transform is x2 of j omega. Now the r of 1, 2 of tau that is cross correlation between x1 of t and x2 of t is represented minus infinity to plus infinity. So x1 of t x2 star of t plus tau dt. So, replacing this equation here, so Fourier transform of R1 to of tau is equal to, according to the definition, so integral minus infinity to plus infinity R1 to of tau e power minus j omega tau d tau. Now you substitute this value here. So this is equal to integral minus infinity to plus infinity <coughs> x1 of t x2 of t plus tau. This is star. This is star. And this is, and you have to have this integration minus infinity to plus infinity and e power minus j omega tau d tau. Let t plus tau is equal to um, L. Now changing this minus infinity to plus infinity so this is x1 of Oh, t plus 1 is L. So, and from this, tau is equal to L minus T. So, this is X1 of T. And here, this is, DT is also there. DT is missing here. Now, this is X1 of T. DT, integral minus infinity to plus infinity. And uh, this is x2 star of L e power minus j omega in place of tau. This is L minus t. d tau is nothing but dl. So this is dl. Now simplify this equation. So integral minus infinity to plus infinity. This is x1 of t and e power j omega t dt and integral minus infinity to plus infinity this is x2 star of l e power minus j omega l dl so if you observe this this is nothing but x1 of t into e power minus j omega t this we should have this is x1 of minus j omega 
into this is x to star of j omega so this is the Fourier transform of this one is equal to the product of individual Fourier transform and complex conjugate. So here from this, how we equal to minus infinity, then t equal to plus infinity, and tau v equal to plus infinity and t is equal to minus infinity that's why we end up with the minus n here minus and this becomes plus and minus so this will get interchange in that case we will have this minus so this becomes plus so x1 of j omega into x2 star of j omega is having Fourier transform of r of 1 to a tau So R12 of tau will have Fourier transform of x1 of j omega into x2 star of j omega. So another property R12 of tau is not equal to R21 of minus tau. So R12 of tau is equal to integral minus infinity to plus infinity x1 of t x2 star of t plus tau x2 star of t plus tau dt and this is equal to R21 of so replacing tau with minus tau. So similarly, R21 of tau, if you write integral minus infinity to plus infinity, this is x2 of t and x1 star of t minus tau. These two signals, if you replace this is R21 of minus tau, this is equal to integral minus infinity to plus infinity. This is x2 of t into x1 star of t plus tau. So these two are not equal. So this is r12 of tau is not equal to r21 of minus tau.